What is good everyone? Welcome live to MDT Vindication episode number 15. It is our go home show for the blue brand at prep and ready for MDT Hell's Gate. We continue on the road to my damn nation and we're one show away for the blue brand before we get to MDT Hell's Gate where Kenny Omega will defend his elite championship inside the elimination chamber versus five other men. Of course we have one more episode of MDT Live following tonight's show but after that it is all ready for Hell's Gate and tonight's matchup card is absolutely stacked featuring El Generico taking on Adam Cole in an Elimination Chamber qualifier to fill one of those last remaining three spots in the Elite Championship Elimination Chamber. Another matchup we have is Aleister Black versus Matt Hardy. Both of these men making their singles debuts here tonight and it should be a very impactful one as both of them have an opportunity to enter that Hell's Gate Elimination Chamber for Omega's Championship. And our main event tonight is Bray Wyatt, the leader of the Wyatt Cult, going one-on-one -on -one with Pete Dunn, who are arrived at the MDT Royal Rumble. One of these two men are going to qualify in that last spot remaining for the Elite Championship Chamber. And taking a look at that Elite Championship Elimination Chamber, you can see Shinsuke Nakamura, AJ Styles, and Kenny Omega obviously already qualified. Who is going to fulfill these last three remaining spots? We're going to find out here tonight on MDT Vindication. More eerie words from that psychopath Bray Wyatt as him and the Colt have been running rapid on MDT Vindication. But it is set for our first matchup of the night between Adam Cole and El Generica. Making his way to the ring from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 210 pounds, Adam Cole. Adam Cole finally recovering after being assaulted by the Bullet Club and Kenny Omega a couple weeks ago following the MDT Royal Rumble after they thought he was responsible for all these mind games and tricks and things that have just been miraculously happening to Kenny Omega and the Bullet Club before the Royal Rumble itself. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to go ahead and look at the graphic again. Tonight, we will be filling these remaining three spots. Three spots at large here to join the field. Already a stacked card as it is for the Elimination Chamber on the Elite Championship side. Could Adam Cole qualify and become one of those men and get some revenge on Kenny Omega? Will it be him or El Generico? We're going to find out here tonight in just a few moments. I think another thing to add is if Adam Cole were to qualify for this Elimination Chamber, that would be another man that has a target on Kenny Omega's back. I mean, Kenny Omega has zero friends coming into this Elimination Chamber. Inside the Elimination Chamber, Brad, there is no help from the Bullet Club. This man could be stranded. Making his way to the ring from Tijuana, Mexico, weighing in at 212 pounds, El Jolito. 
You know, El Generico was responsible for stealing two spots into the MDT Royal Rumble. And not only that, he did well enough in the Royal Rumble to earn another opportunity here tonight to enter the Elite Championship Elimination Chamber at MDT Hell's Gate. So, I mean, he did a really good job in that Royal Rumble. He stole the balls. He took an opportunity from somebody else. And here he is tonight, and he could, he could mess around and end up as elite champion just because he stole some Royal Rumble entrance ball. So this is very exciting for El Generico. I know he's ready to go. Let's find out how he does here tonight versus Adam Cole and let's see who's going to Hell's Gate. As we start off our match, I'm like, oh my God, what a massive kick and a huge forearm from Generico. And Adam Cole right back with a huge super kick. My God, fireworks flying. And Cole now with a Oshiga Roshi right on the back of the neck to Generico. And Adam Cole could be setting up. We can look at the end right here. Generico's in trouble. Oh, he evades it. Generico evades the knee by Adam Cole now. And he's loading him up for a huge German suplex. Generico keeping his championship hopes alive. Oh, and Generico not finished with Adam Cole. He loads him up with a huge blue thunder bomb. And Cole kicks out. What a big move by Generico. I thought he was going to Hell's Gate right there. Generico has been in absolute command here in the matchup as he continues that now with a huge sit down power bomb. And Cole somehow stays alive. I, Generico has looked very impressive tonight versus Adam Cole, keeping his championship hopes alive here in the matchup. And Cole now set up in the corner. I think El Generico. El Generico could be looking to put him away here with a haluva kick. Oh, Generico. Generico comes up empty. And Adam Cole with a swinging neck breaker getting back into things. Adam Cole desperately needed that. Generico not in a very good predicament here as Adam Cole's looking for Panama Sunrise perfectly executed as he nails it. He nailed it. Adam Cole's going to MBTL's gate. Here's the cover on Generico. And he kicked out. How did Generico stay alive? The Panama Sunrise, not enough to put away El Generico as he continues to fight for the championship opportunity. Adam Cole now going for round number two. He's going to try to put him away with another one. Here comes Adam Cole with the Panama Sunrise. Oh, reverse by Generico. He sat right down on the neck. The neck of Cole has to be broken. Generico not making the cover as he's too dazed. I believe if Cole did not hit that first Panama Sunrise, he would have been absolutely crushed by that second one. Generico not able to make the cover, but he's going to dive outside onto Adam Cole and takes him out. Generico on the command now. And Cole now making it back to his feet. And it looks like El Generico may be setting up for that turnbuckle tornado DDT as here he comes rounding through the corner. And Adam Cole with a huge bicycle kick. I think he kicked his skull off of his body. Oh my God, what a heads up bicycle kick by Adam Cole now as El Generico's definitely in a bad predicament. He's hanging from the ring. Adam Cole doing a circle around the entire ring. Here he comes back around. What the hell is he doing as he lands the knee to the skull? Taking out El Generico as he was hanging there. Adam Cole rolling Generico back inside the ring. This is not good for Generico. And Cole does it. Adam Cole one step closer to the elite champion Kenny Omega as he defeats El Generico here in just very dramatic fashion. El Generico got tangled up after the bicycle kick and he nails the knee right to the nose of Generico and he is headed to Elimination Chamber Elite Championship on the line at Hell's Gate as you can see here by the updated graphic. Adam Cole is headed to join Kenny Omega Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura. What a matchup and what a finale. Adam Cole, congratulations. He is headed to Hell's Gate to take on Kenny Omega. Well, ladies and gentlemen, when we return, we will see the singles debuts of Matt Hardy and Aleister Black as they go one-on-one -on -one to determine who will fill out one of those final two remaining spots in the Hell's Gate Elimination Chamber for the Elite Championship. What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys here, letting you guys know about MDT Hell's Gate. I mean, who, who doesn't know about it by now? But I did want to plug it again because there will be two Elimination Chamber matches 
on this night. The Elite Championship will be on the line and the MDT Championship, both inside of two different Elimination Chamber matches. So subscribe, turn on your bell, and wait for Hell's Gate. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are set for our second matchup of the night. Matt Hardy and Alistair Black. Oh, what the, what the hell is this? What happened to the lights? What is that? What is that freaking noise? What in the blue hell is Bobby Roode doing out here? Bobby Roode, is it, is it signed up to be here tonight? He's not supposed to be here. He wasn't announced for tonight. What the hell's going on? Making his way to the ring from Manhattan. New York, weighing in at 235 pounds, the glorious Bobby Roode. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what the hell's going on. Maybe Bobby Roode will be able to fill us in here, but I don't think Bobby Roode's supposed to be here tonight. We're supposed to be set for a singles matchup between Matt Hardy and Aleister Black, but I, 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 let's see what this man has to say. Oh, what the hell? Bobby Roode assaulted Matt Hardy. What the blue hell is this trash? What the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think it's a good idea to insult Alistair Black. Mr. Black shows up in the middle of the ring and he scared the bejesus out of Bobby Roode. Alistair Black from out of nowhere. Alistair Black is definitely not a being that I would want to try and insult and, and let alone fight and call him out, Brad. I just don't like this at all. Oh my God, a huge black mass to the face. Roundhouse kick straight to the face of the glorious one. And Bobby Roode has laid the hell out. One kick from Alistair Black and Bobby Roode has faded to black. Oh my God, and he's got his foot upon the chest of Bobby Roode's completely unconscious, Brad. And the, the ref is going down for the cover. And 
Alistair Black is, Alistair Black just like that is headed to MDT Hell's Gate as he defeats Bobby Roode. It was supposed to be Matt Hardy and Bobby Roode made a mistake going after Matt Hardy because he had to meet Alistair Black and he pissed the man off. Alistair Black totally destroys Bobby Roode as he fades to Black. And what the hell's going on now, Brad? And, and just like that, Alistair Black is gone. He arrived, kicked Bobby Roode's ass, and now he's gone. And now he's gone to MDT Hell's Gate for the Elimination Chamber. Our main event is next, ladies and gentlemen, Pete Dunn versus Bray Wyatt to fill out our final remaining spot in the Elite Championship Elimination Chamber. What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys here, letting you guys know that Elite Series 72 is still for pre-order over at WrestlingFigures.com. Ringside Collectibles, use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. There's also tons of other pre-orders, Elite Action Figures, Basics, Playsets, and all kinds of other things. But use MDTOYS, you'll save 10%, and you help out the channel every time, so please do so. What is good, everyone? Welcome back to Vindication. We are set for our main event here tonight between Pete Dunne and the leader of the Wyatt Colt, Bray Wyatt. Making his way to the ring from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Pete Dunne. Now, Pete Dunne was one of the surprise entrants in the MDT Royal Rumble. He did fairly well in it, earning this opportunity and tonight, he could fill out the final remaining spot in the Elite Championship Elimination Chamber at Hell's Gate. Alistair Black and Adam Cole qualifying earlier in the night. And now it is up to Pete Dunne or Bray Wyatt to finish off our Elimination Chamber. We're going to find out who the final six men are. Will it be Pete Dunne or the leader of the Wyatt Colt, Bray Wyatt? Making his way to the ring from Lafayette, Louisiana, weighing in at 285 pounds, Bray Wyatt. There he is, Brad Bray Wyatt, the leader of the Wyatt cult, the leader of the cult that has taken over Vindication and taking out the Bullet Club, Kenny Omega. The whole entire Bullet Club has been laid to waste two weeks in a row by the hands of the Wyatt Colt and Bray Wyatt, the leader. And it all has to do with the sadistic urn that we've been seeing him carrying around. He's been speaking of, of a lore and, and all kinds of different things, trying to summon something and sacrifice people. We have no idea what the hell's going on, but we're going to find out here tonight who's going to Hell's Gate between these two. Brad, I think Bray Wyatt is literally just laughing in Pete Dunne's face. Just laughing at Pete Dunne like he's like he's not a, a good competitor for Bray Wyatt. Oh, Pete Dunne doesn't like that, Brad, as he's going right at him. Pete Dunne just laying Bray Wyatt away, stomping and stomping on him. And Bray Wyatt retreating now. It doesn't look like it's too funny now, is it, Bray Wyatt, as Pete Dunne has laid it to Bray Wyatt, and he's not done, Bray. He's going to come out for a suicide dive on the Wyatt. Oh, and the strength of Wyatt. Laying him out with a freaking huge Iranagi to the apron to the spinal cord of Pete Dunne. What a reversal by Wyatt as he's laughing his butt off now. I know that Iranagi had to do a huge bit of damage as Wyatt is just kicking 
Pete Dunn in the face now, making a mockery of Dunn now is Bray Wyatt. Look at the strength on display on the undersized Pete Dunn now as Bray Wyatt looking for a huge clothesline. And oh, oh, Pete Dunn reverses it and he lays it with a huge arm breaker. The right arm of Bray Wyatt looked terrible on that move. It looked like he snapped his arm in half. The arm breaker from Dunn. Pete Dunn now bringing Bray Wyatt to the outside. It's, oh my God, he's throwing that injured right arm. He's going right after the right arm, trying to wear down Wyatt. The undersized Pete Dunn working on Bray Wyatt. Very smart tactics by Dunn in this matchup to go after that right arm, after the arm breaker early on in the matchup. And Pete Dunn not working here. He's not done working, Brad. He's going to slam the arm onto the table to the outside. Pete Dunn has got Bray Wyatt on the ropes and lingering here. Bray Wyatt in excruciating pain as Dunn is just manipulating it. And Bray Wyatt continuing to get worked on here as the arm has just been mangled. And now Dunn not done as he is wrapping the arm, the injured arm of Wyatt. He's wrapped it. Look at it. He's cinched it around the post now and he's just torquing it. One, and the referee has to count. Two, now Pete Dunn has to be careful. He doesn't three, want to get disqualified in this matchup. Four. Oh my God, and the torque on the arm is Pete Dunn. Let's go. Bray Wyatt has been destroyed. His right arm has got to be obliterated. Pete Dunn going crazy. And Bray Wyatt now crawling, Brad. He's crawling over to the urn, and Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn completely confused here. The injured arm of Wyatt. I don't know how. You can see it tucked to his side, but he's holding onto that urn, and you know that if he uses that urn, he will be disqualified. He cannot hit Pete Dunn with that urn. He cannot do anything to cost himself this elimination challenge. Oh, he tosses it to Pete Dunn. Oh, and he uses the distraction with a huge clothesline to Pete Dunn laying him out. It was all a, a ploy to get Pete Dunn distracted, and it worked as he lays out Pete Dunn, and now the referee telling Bray Wyatt to hand over the urn. The ref is in, in Bray Wyatt's face here. Bray Wyatt's got to be careful. He can't earn a disqualification. He'll lose his elite championship opportunity. What the hell's going on now, Brad? Oh my God, it's Luke Harper. Luke Harper's got a chair behind the referee. Oh my God, he's taking out the referee. Luke Harper is taking out the referee. What in the blue hell is this? Luke Harper and the Wyatt Colt now. And Bray Wyatt with a huge sister Abigail onto the urn laying out Pete Dunn. What is all this madness? We still have a matchup going on. And what the hell is this now? The entire Wyatt Colt, the entire Wyatt Colt is here in this matchup. We still have a chamber qualifier going. And Bray Wyatt continuing with the Lord talk as we have a pause in, in the action right now as the arena, this happened last week, trying to summon something, but nothing is happening. Nothing is going on, Bray Wyatt. Oh my God, is the Lord here? Is it the Lord? Oh my God! It's the Bullet Club, Kenny Omega, the Bucks, Cody Rhodes, and Matt Jackson lays out Rowan. Nick Jackson lays out Harper. Oh, and Kenny Omega's loading up Bray Wyatt with a huge one-winged angel. One-winged angel onto the urn, and Cody Rhodes taking out part of the Wyatt Colt. The Bullet Club return the favor onto the Wyatt Colt, and they're running rapid. They're beating the hell out of the Wyatt Colt. Every man for himself in this matchup. Owen oh, Rhodes. Rhodes misses Black and he lays out Dunn. We still have a matchup going right now. Oh my God, here comes Adam Cole. Adam Cole running down to the ring. Oh, he misses Omega and takes out Alistair Black. This is absolute madness. And oh my God, it's Johnny Gargano. 
Johnny Gargano, the number one contender for the Iron Man Championship. He's here. Johnny Gargano is here. He yanks down Rhodes. And a super kick to Cody Rhodes' face. Gargano's taking out the Iron Man Champion. All hell is broken loose here in the MDT Arena as Johnny Gargano and many people. Oh my God, it's AJ Styles. Kenny Omega now running and flipping over the Tope Conilo, taking out AJ Styles. And we forgot we have a freaking matchup still going right now. Luke Harper scooping up Bray Wyatt as he throws him over the top of Pete Dunne. He slides out of the ring. Oh my God, at the madness we are witnessing. The referee is, the referee trying to crawl to the cover as Bray Wyatt has covered Pete Dunne here. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a pin. Bray Wyatt does it. Bray Wyatt at the hands of the Wyatt Colt. Kenny Omega cannot believe it. The Bullet Club show up and take out the Wyatt Colt. But due to the madness, Bray Wyatt still is headed to Hell's Gate in the Elimination Chamber. Our full Elimination Chamber matchup is set. Every man for himself out here in the arena as we have had just the craziest ending I've ever seen to a Vindication episode. The Wyatt Colt run wild, but the Bullet Club stands all here tonight, but it's at the cost of Bray Wyatt winning, defeating Pete Dunne, and qualifying for the Chamber as we have our Elite Championship Elimination Chamber is set for Hell's Gate. The next time we see all of these individuals, they will be locked inside of a cell and going war for the Elite Championship. Kenny Omega and the Bullet Club stand tall here tonight, but at the cost of Bray Wyatt qualifying for the Chamber. We will see you at MDT Live Episode 15 on the road to My Damn Nation.